today. In fact, this weekend, I will be mainly um, making cushions for my boat. I've already got the cushions, I've got the foam. Um, what I'm going to be doing is covering them. First of all, this is not really a how-to. I'm, I don't know how-to, I'm just another idiot. But I've been doing it, and uh, I've had acceptable results. And here are the first three. And what these three are is the backrests. Um, I've got one more of those to do. Um, what I intend to do, really, is just film that process. Because in the process of making these, I have learnt a few things. A couple of things. The pattern for making these is from the Sailrite website. It's brilliant. You put in the dimensions of the foam that you've got and it gives you the dimensions and the cutouts and everything for the pattern for the new cushion. So here is the final cushion pattern. Let's see if I can lay it out, it's quite windy today. Here it is. So it tells you how big the notches have to be and where they have to be. And all you have to do then really is sew it up. I've marked my seams and stuff on the other side. So sale right, and that's called the 30 minute book box cushion, which is a complete lie because it takes a lot more than 30 minutes to make one. But the results are great, and I'm by no means a seamster. Um, so that's really looking positive. So sale right website for instructions. They've even got a video there that uh, will talk you through how to do it, which is great. Um, my foam, I've got a backrest for both sides, which amounts to four cushions and two mattresses, which are in two cushions each. So that's another four cushions. Mattresses are four inches thick. Uh, this is their luxury firm foam. And the backrests are three inches thick. All of that, uh, including Dacron and um, stocking net, cost 192 quid from GB Foam Direct. Uh, and their service was good. Not exemplary, but good. It was good service. The fabric came from Terry's Fabrics, and it's uh, their Tivoli fabric, which is basically just um, PVC reinforced canvas. Uh, and for, I think I got 13 metres of that, which is enough to do the whole boat, really. I thought I have a lot more than I need. And that was 80-odd quid. Uh, I got a continuous coil zipper, size 5. So 5 mil, uh, size 5 means that the actual zipper teeth there are 5mm when it's closed, total width 5mm when it's closed. Um, and because it's continuous zip, it comes with the sliders and what you do is cut it to length and then insert the slider, which is fiddly and, uh, un but you know, obviously it can be done because I've done it. Uh, what else did I get? First little tip for seam stick for basting tape, use 3M um, Sailmakers basting tape because the stuff that I've got was a bit of an eBay special and it, it adds 20 minutes to each cushion doing that because you stick it down, it unsticks, you stick it down, it unsticks and it's because the material is rigid, it's quite, not, not rigid, but it's, it's quite stiff so you need good quality basting tape for that um, so, I'll make the last one, I'll film some of that process um, like I said, it's not really a how to, I don't know how to, but the Sailrite website is very very good and if I can watch those videos and read the instructions and make decent cushions then I think anybody probably could because you know, I'm certainly not a wizard with this stuff. They've come out so well, you know, concealed zips. They're all nicely square. It's properly stuffed. It's not like a loose-fitting loose, loose fitting thing. Uh, second little tip. If you watch them, watch the sale right video of them making the cushions, uh, they come up with um, a cushion that is a very, very tight fit in the cover. And the way they get it in is they put, um, they call it silk. It's just like really thin plastic over the foam and then a vacuum cleaner and suck the air out of the foam to shrink the foam right down and jam it in the cover quickly <laughs> and take the vacuum cleaner away. I didn't really want that tighter fit on mine uh, and I already had the foam. So on the the fabric calculator on the Sailrite website is what it's called, the fabric calculator. If you've already got the foam, if you put in the actual sizes of the foam that you've got for the measurements for the cushion, that's the result and it will be a snug fit and that's good, you know. Um, if you um, put in the finished size of the cushion that you want, it will um, instruct you to cut the foam half an inch bigger than that all around. Uh, so you can imagine that ends up with a very tight fit and if you've already got the foam it gets a bit confusing. So if you've already got the foam, put the measurements for the foam in and that's the result you'll get and that's a fairly snug 
fairly snug fit, more than adequate there, more than adequate. So for me, I'm happy with that. Also, the basting tape that I've got is a little bit too wide. So you want six mil stuff, really quarter inch basting tape. A steel rule here that I'm using to really press that in. I've got the basting tape on there now. I'm going to race along here, but at the end of the day, almost as I'm going, it's going to be lifting up again. <laughs> it's just uh, I'm using quite heavyweight material. It's, I'm asking a lot really of the tape. It's just supposed to be holding things in place while you sew. I'm not adhering it. take flush there and that will save time and mess when it comes to sewing it because it is a little bit high pressure so here comes the magic then level down there then lay this up against there So I've covered about half a zip, about half a zip. And I've found that you can get away with it. You know, your eyes are surprisingly good. If you're a millimetre out here and there, that'll look like a lot to you, but actually when it's done, it probably won't be too bad. So, what you would normally do now is exactly the same with the other side, with the basting tape. Then separate the zip and then get on a sewing machine and sew down both the zips. Because the tape lets go so quickly here, I can't do that, so I'm just making sure as best I can that it's stuck and that I'm going to race to the sewing machine and uh, get it sewn up. So when I picked it up off the uh, <laughs> when I picked it up off the floor there I noticed that it didn't stick to itself which means the basting tape hasn't overhung that would be a problem. So I've just turned the needle there so it's in its rightmost position. So I want to get right up close to that. Oh, if I can, here we go. Do this. So it's stuck there. I don't know what we're going on at the start there, but it wasn't feeding. there. <clears throat> That's one half of the zip in there. Fortunately whatever that was at the start there didn't uh, <clears throat> didn't make too much of a mess. So good. All right. So I've got to do the same thing with the other side except this time when it comes time to stick the zip all I really have to do is fold that in that way use something to keep it flat. Probably my plastering level again. And then fold this when it's um, when the seam is on there, fold it right over and bring it up as close as I can. As close as I can to the zip there and that will be concealed zip just like that. Right, it's back to the basting top nightmare again. Mm. Sure that that's in the right place. Absolutely critical then when you do this. I speak not as someone who knows anything about anything, but just because I've done it. That those those seals, those seams there, they absolutely must line up. They must line up like that. Because it keeps the whole thing straight and you don't end up with a twisted cushion. Not to mention that the pattern only works if you stick to the pattern, and the pattern is they're supposed to line up. Let's do it. Sure, that's laying flat. Carry on. And what I'm going to do? All right, 
I think that's going to stick. I think there's enough thread in the machine to do this. So now, that's gone quite well actually, I'm quite pleased with that. I think it's going to turn out alright. So now I have to feed the zipper on and turn it inside out. Okay, so, top tip number whatever it is. Um, when I feed this through the sewing machine I don't want this laying that way because that will jam the foot. I want it laying that way. So the tip is, do the zip corners first when you start the corners. Um, because if, if this one is folding the wrong way, it's not such a big deal because you don't have the complication of a great lump of zip there. Do the zip corners first. The other top tip is when you're picturing uh, the cushion like this and how it's made this way, it's quite hard to visualize how you get the corners to be square with each other and square with the thing. You see that one's probably better than that one, but they're both good. Um, and the way you do it is when you when you measure this one and put your seam across, you lay the next one flat across the top of it, and you try and get the angle the same. Sort of square the cushion up, make it look like it's going to look, and lay it flat there, and try and get the angle the same. That way, at least they're they're parallel that way. The other thing is uh, the length of this seam here dictates the width of the finished cushion cover at the corners. So it says half an inch seam, and it is half an inch seam, which I'm going to mark in a moment. Uh, but for me, for my experience here, I would say it's a generous half an inch. It's five eighths. It's five eighths. That's what it is. It will be. Out of curiosity, how wide is that? Look at that. Oh no, that's going to be bang on actually. So that one up now. So. I mean, I haven't done a pre-fit with this, so I tend to fit them and leave them alone, so let's see how it turned out, shall we? I'll just open the zipper now. It's so concealed, I can't even find it. I say also it's important to use your hands to push the corners out, you know, shake the corners. That definitely makes a difference as to how easy it is to get the cushion in. Right. Absolutely beautiful. You know, not super quick, certainly not 30 minutes, forget that. But actually, look at that, look at that, it's fantastic. What's not to like? So I've now got my four backrests made. God, I'm so happy with those, and I'm even happier that. It looks like I'm going to be able to do this myself instead of having to pay a professional to do it because as it is, that's the entire salon reupholstered for less than 300 quid. Fantastic. So, that's four. 
två år så går det.